Erica's got everything she needs right here on the farm to give guests the full maple syrup experience. So we've made our way outside here and um, I can't wait to see what's going on. Uh -huh. So right here we've got an example of the traditional tapping method. And in fact, this is how we even started, was okay. tapping with a bucket. Okay. That's what I had pictured. Yes. Like I, I thought that this is maybe Yep, that how is the traditional method. Okay. So for us, maple season is approximately mid-February to mid-April. Okay. That's when we're going to be able to harvest the sap. So with the traditional bucket method, you'd hang a bucket on each tree. The sap would drip in. Every day you have to go empty that bucket and carry it down for processing. Weather out here that time of year. Yeah, I mean, this time of year, it's not great, so I don't even know what it would be like in February. Cold, Terrible. snowy, yeah. and yeah, walking through the woods with, <laughs> with carrying sap. Having done it, I can attest to it. It, it. You put in a lot of work. Yeah. With a bucket on a tree over the course of your maple season, you'll get roughly five to seven gallons of sap out of the tree. Okay. Do you know how many gallons of sap it takes to make a gallon of syrup? A lot. I don't know. <laughs> no. You want to take a guess? Oh, how many gallons of sap does it take to make a gallon of maple syrup? Yes. Ten. I wish. Okay. It's approximately 40 to 50 oh, gallons of that, sap. Oh my gosh, so you gotta carry a lot of buckets a lot to of get buckets, one yes. gallon of yes. maple syrup. You'll put in a lot of work and just not be rewarded with very much syrup for that effort. Yeah. So let me show you how we do it now. Okay. And why did you guys make this change? I mean, you, you said that when you came to the farm, this was this was the way it was going. That was. It was very small scale. This is this uh, technology, the tubing technology, has allowed us to really grow okay. and increase how much we produce in a much more efficient way. Yeah. So we're still tapping the tree. Every year, we'll go to our go to each tree. You drill a hole in the tree, and then this spout would get inserted into the tree, uh -huh. tapped in. Okay. And the hole is drilled new every year? New every year. Okay. Yep. So at the beginning of the season, you tap it. At the end of the season, you have to pull it. Okay. But the, um, the tubing system is then connected. All the trees are connected. And then we put that entire system under vacuum. That's going to suck sap out of the tree without harming it. Okay. With this system, we can get as many as 30 gallons of sap out of each tree over oh, the course of the season. Whoa. Big difference. Big, big, big difference. Yeah. Yes. Drive through the woods? tap some trees and taste some syrup. Join me in Maple Country.